All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Facebook. Coach Garrison here. And I think it's a beautiful opportunity for us to meet. Uh, I think that um, you and I can form sort of a, a distant relationship um, through the coaching uh, aspects. And so take a few moments just to, 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 you know, stay with me for a bit. See if you can grab a couple of items uh, from what I talk about uh, today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about connecting to the world. And uh, so stay tuned. This is going to be pretty heavy. This is going to be a, well, this is a part of my Rated G series. So come on in the room, sit down and take a moment uh, to enjoy some coaching from uh, Coach Garrison. Let's do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Coach Garrison here. Uh, I'm a certified life coach, and that's about as far as I'm going to go in that aspect of it. Uh, my goal is just to bring some consciousness as far as lifestyle and personal development. That's the bottom line. So regardless of who you are, what station you are in life, um, we all need a coach. We all can be coached. We all can achieve, uh, and we all, all can live on a different level. I'm not always saying achieve that you're moving up. Some of us might need to move down, okay? Some of us might be all over the place and we need balance. Uh, that's, that I could point 10 fingers all back at me. So uh, my efforts to, to, to do what I'm called to do, to be involved in people's lives, uh, I'm, I'm putting this out there. Catch a few moments of it. If you like it, stay with me. Um, share it if you like, uh, thumbs up or However, of course, I need the feedback. So uh, today we're talking about connecting to the world. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. This is first and 10 with Coach Garrison, connecting to the world. Now, life gives and you receive and life also takes. So there's a balance there. There's a harmonious you know, rhythm that you want to have in living because life goes forward. Uh, some people say life is virtual reality. Uh, in essence, after a certain amount of years, you'll see that aspect because it'll be just thoughts and processes through years that you have had a clear vision and years that you didn't have a clear vision. But I want to make your forward progress, um, which that's a, what a coach's job is to coach going forward. I'm not the person to go into therapeutic interventions based on what has happened to you, but we want to utilize your skills, your strengths, your weaknesses, and do this analysis and the threats that you have. It's called a SWAT. So if you are coaching with me like I want you to do one-on-one, -on -one, I want you to list all of your strengths. What are you good at? Just think about it. What are you good at? What's the results of what you're good at, meaning what you think you're good at might not be. Uh, spiritually, what you think your gift is may not have been beneficial to nobody but you. So in other words, we want to put down your strengths. We want to put down your weaknesses. What do you consider weaknesses? Or are you just a novice? Or are you just inexperienced in that? And you have a passion for it, but you haven't been trained in it yet. OK, so these are some of the nuts and bolts that apply to all facets of our life, spiritually, physically, mentally, you know, consciously, unconsciously. OK, so I do believe in certain laws of attractions, but I think that we are involved in more than what we think. Uh, but I do believe in faith. Uh, I do believe in the substance. I do believe in uh, vision. Uh, I do believe in a lot of the spiritual applicable subjects that uh, or, 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 or systems that we can live by. So what I'm saying is life gives, receives, and it also takes away. So let's make this more uh, practical. My goal as a coach is to help you understand aspects about your life so you can move to the center so you can see what's happening here. You got crisis here. You have um, you have a lot of confidence on what's going on in your child's life. You have a lot of um, non-confidence about what's going on in your spouse's life. Oh, did I say something? You have trouble here. You have uh, something exciting going on at work. I want you in the center 
okay? And you're going to serve as a fire department. You're going to serve as human resources. You're going to serve as a family uh, mother or father, or you're going to serve as a dentist. I just need you in the center of whatever's going around you, okay? And you're going to be able to have a view. Now, you're, you don't have eyes in the back of your head, but you're going to need to know what's going on behind you. And when issues come up in your life, I don't need you to just drop or lose consciousness of what's happening over here and spend too much time over there. But there's a balance. There's a way. There's a cycle of this happening in your life. So you are successful this year, unsuccessful the next year. Successful. There's there are things that might be repeating in your life. There's, there's, there's uh, habit insanity might have set forth. And every time you try to do this one thing, the way that you know that it can be done, you get the opposite results. So I'm just bringing mindfulness to the playing field that I need you in the center. I need you to be the core. I don't need everybody coming to you, taking you out of your game. Every time somebody want to get you out of your game, all they got to do is get you mad. It's like some kind of presidential race or something. All you got to do is start talking to somebody or talking about somebody and whether they born in a certain country or not, and you're going to throw the other person out of the game. I don't think so. So uh, people come to you for various aspects to use you, to uh, assist you, to lead you, to guide you. You know, there are a lot of reasons and there are a lot of things that people come to you for and about. I need you to stay conscious. I need you to stay woke and I need you to be gathering knowledge and intelligence and creating contingency plans about what's happening in your full circle. We can't have recreation and fun. And, and we, in other words, we can't be inordinate about any one thing in our lives. There's got to be a balance other than obviously God and worship and, and a core that is creating you as a core. OK, I ain't saying your spirituality is over here. And it, no, your spirituality is like on the top of your head. So I need you to be in the center to connect to the world. I'm going to just go down the list of some of the aspects because I only got 15 minutes to wake you up, okay? But um, I need you to move to the center where you're not as vulnerable. Everybody's not right up on you. If you become a, a world star, a national public figure, you will be sort of protected or shielded away from a lot of things in society except your own family. So see that you know, as this executive with bodyguards all around you. OK, um, I, I want you to understand what patriotism is, what it means to be the center of this nation. You are you are the one person that needs to own this city. You are the mayor. You are the governor. You are the senators. You are the representative of these United States. You are you are the center, you are the reason that we exist. And I'm trying to pump your head up, but you are just that important. I'm going to need you to understand you are the center of the core, and I'm going to need you to act that role. I'm going to need you to play that role. Stop, stop, stop demoralizing yourself. Stop diminishing your, your intelligence to make other people look smarter than you. You are smart as you want to be. But you play down so much. Now, I'm, I'm commanding you. I'm saying step it up. Bring your A game. People of color, you are in, built different than other people's colors. Play your game. You are inventive. You're creative. <clears throat> you're emotional. You're strategic. You're not doing half as much as you're created to do. All right, that's what I mean. I'm going to stay on patriotism just, just a little bit. Generational relevance. You are the seed. What in the world you think you was here for? Especially the ones who proclaim to be Christians. Divide and multiply in life. Bolster it, not just the faith that we're going to live an everlasting life after here. We ain't going nowhere yet. So the people that you approach say, look, it's time to live now. <clears throat> 
It's time to live now above circumstances that you in. And that's so difficult to say and even harder to do. But a call to action of planting the seed of the generational relevance means you're not selfish and that you're living for your great, great grandkids. <clears throat> that's who you are working for. Build an empire, build a land, build schools, uh, colleges, businesses, all for the future. That's what you're here for. And so we are so short sighted that we think it's just for our little 75 years here on the earth for 35 years. Well, not, I hope you don't pass away at 35, but life expectancy. No, this is beyond you. What in the world are you thinking about? Accumulate this property and pass it on. Accumulate these businesses and pass it on. You aren't taking it with you. So you, the generational relevance is not necessarily so those who will have something that you didn't have. No, it's just the way that it should be. And if you're listening to the show, it's the way it's going to be. Understand stocks, bonds, and investments, and life insurances so we can pass on wealth. What can you do with it? What, what can you do with it? Size accumulated and have some of the things that you have here in life. All right, let me go, go past that before I run off the script here. Yeah, the future is now. Plant the seed. How are you going to connect to the world? Facebook. People start talking about folks in Chicago killing themselves. Immediately, I became a part of a solution. I started friending people in Chicago. I probably got 15, 20 friends in Chicago. Now, when I repost this, the folks in Chicago are going to get this motivation. They're going to get my vibes. I'm not sitting around here talking about black folk killing black folk and people killing this. No, become a part of the solution. <clears throat> Tangibly become more than you're not the news media let the news media be the news media they're the ones who call out and write history if you're a historian and you want to talk about the reactions of people and the things about if you're a gossip specialist maybe your call is to be a journalist then you can write books then you can write uh, tabloids in positive ways. You can create stuff on another Facebook platform that people can share and like and dislike news and information. Maybe that is your call. Other than that, if you specialize in rumors, maybe you're just living off of other people's energy. You're just living off of other people's what they call trash. Okay? So if you're not a part of the news media, why are you acting like the gossip is the gossip? Or, or you a gossiper profession? But I do respect people who notably recognize other people in their lives and, and, and understand that uh, to talk about other people is to exemplify other people's talents and, and the good that they're doing. And you're, you're so selfless that you would rather recognize other people and what they're doing than your own goods and services. So, yeah, I, 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 I'm not trying to call everybody gossips, but I'm, I'm trying to say information has its purpose. But I want you to introspectively go look in the mirror and say, what is my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? And then if I'm watching Coach Garrison, what did I do today to affect somebody's life? Because we're connected to the world. That the world is watching us. I'm watching you. You're watching me. Understand that that is happening. I'm not just speaking out into this camera just, just to be speaking. I'm speaking to doctors, lawyers, preachers, teachers, homeless people, uh, people that are famous across the nation. They're watching. So they're watching you. You are connected to the world. Believe it. <clears throat> And no, I didn't fill my cup back up from the last show. That's why my throat is acting that way. And I'm talking in this coaching fashion. But I can talk for the last minute of the show. I can talk like I got some, you know, calmness about me. I love you. My job is to get you tomorrow living toward your potential. 
Don't worry about me. Towards your potential. If you are the leader of a thousand, be it. If you're a leader of one, be it. And be the best, the very, very best that you can be. No exceptions. If you fall, get up. If they fall, get them up. If they fall, you might have to get them up somewhere else. They may not be a part of your organization in certain circumstances. But get them up. They're a part of the city. If we just had half the people that's locked up in prison back on the street making $20,000 a year, look at the money that would be in this economy. Look at the families that would still be together. So we got to change our ways. And people of color, we got to level up to another level right now on the Coach Garrison Show. See you next time. Thank you.